Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet 201X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Alright guys, welcome to my Let's Play of Undertale. This is a game I got last year, I think, towards the end of last year? Maybe beginning of this year? I'm not sure. And I was just sitting there, I'm like, ah, I wonder what games I should be playing. I should probably get to recording the series I'm doing right now. And my friend Joss is like, hey Gabe? And I'm like, what? You're gonna play Undertale at some point, right? And I'm like, uh, well, yeah, I mean, sure, I love the idea of an Earthbound clone kind of thing, and I've heard amazing things about Undertale. She's like, when are you going to play it? And I'm like, what's with the creepy voice, Joss? And because I want you to play it. And I'm like, um, I don't even own the game. Now you do. What? What? Oh. Oh. And now I own the game. <laughs> She's been pestering me to play it, saying, yeah, you should do it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. And then I haven't released a video in over a month. So today I'm uploading Portal 2. I tried to record a bit of this before, and it didn't go well. And by it didn't go well, I mean heavy, heavy failure in recordings. And I got a little bit into it, and it just died. And then there was some major issues with stuff that quality-wise. And I was like... I'm glad I haven't done that much. And so I'm going into the game now, and here we go. Uh, when they, okay, so basic instructions. Confirm or cancel, those aren't the buttons I'm using, but because I'm using a controller, but whatever. Uh, F4 is full screen, I would not be full screen in this... Maybe I'll full screen this game? Ah, uh, should I full screen this game? Uh, I think I'll full screen this game. Yeah, that's way better and easier to see. I'm hoping everything's perfect for you guys as well. Uh, it seems on my recording that it is. Now, this, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I will say that I'm probably, hopefully, getting this up by Sunday. Because Sunday is Mother's Day, and you'll see why. I know a decent amount about the beginning of the game. Then, after that, I'm completely blind. So, like, the first area or two of the game, I know a lot about, sadly, due to my failed recording, and then I know nothing after. So, let's begin the game. My name... What is my name? Uh... Hmm... I, I want to go with blue, because I'm blue, debity ba da die But in the name of my fallen hero, literally fallen, fell down a hole, who sadly didn't make it through the recording process... We are going to be Bisquick, the hero that everyone desires and needs, but not the one we deserve, because honestly, Bisquick is terrible. Uh, yes, Bisquick is in fact my name. And now here we are. We are best biz uh, quick, and we are in a giant hole. Yeah, the flowers saved our life. We would be dead without them. But for now, we run. We run so far away. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. 
You're new to the underground, aren't ya? <laughs> Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work down here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? <laughs> here we go! See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of- Shut up, Mitomo. I'm sorry, I got a thing from Mitomo telling me that something was happening today. Your soul starts off weak, but can go strong if you gain enough LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through... A little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Mm, no. Hey, buddy, you missed them. <laughs> Let's try again, okay? Uh, is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. A pellet, friendliness pellets. Right. <laughs> you know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Oh no. Die. <laughs> oh no. Huh? What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. So... I'm gonna see if there's any difference if you head back this way. Golden flowers. They must have broken your fall. Now it lets me inter interact with this. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about the minor interruption. The puppy doggy little thinger was going like, Ah, I'm talking and things, and I want to interrupt your recording. And I'm like, no, don't! So we're, ta we're following Miss Toriel. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. So let's save. Bizquick and the ruins entrance. Alright. Um. Wait. Can I interact with anything? I guess not. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the proper operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions be between... Wait, what? Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Alright. Uh... Only the fearless may pr proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walking off the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I've labeled the ones that you need to flip. Stay on the path. Alright. Press Z to read signs. Doesn't help me. I wonder what switch I should press. The first switch is over on the wall. Go on, press the switch on the left. I... No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. I just wanted to see if she'd say anything cool or interesting. <laughs> Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This switch doesn't even work. Does it not? <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. I need to adjust my mic. Give me a moment. So, minor, minor, minor issue. 
game crashed right when I moved my mic because my mic is I love my mic it is a pretty good mic and has served me well it is a pain in my rear end oh I'm getting a phone call right here of course you will need to be prepared for this situation however worry not the process is simple when you encounter a monster, you will fight and enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I'll come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Alright. Um, sorry about that. I first, the game crashed because my mic is tied directly to my, uh, everything. It, it, I have a, uh, Blue Yeti, which is a really good microphone. It's just a pain in my rear end, because anytime it, like, slightly messes up in any way, even for a quarter of a second, it crashes my audio drivers. Thus crashing any games I'm playing. Crashing my recording. I'm hoping I got the beginning of that without issue, or else I'm gonna have to doctor it again. And that would suck. Oh well. You encountered the dummy. Let's talk to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you, though. Ah, very good. You are very welcome. What well, very good? I don't know. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. So, you're supposed to take note of this thing on the ground and use it up here. But you get interrupted. Froggit attacks you. So I'm gonna compliment Froggit. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. And Toriel was not amused. You won, you earned zero experience and zero gold, as she stares, glaring at that frog who dared harm her sweet child. The western room is the eastern's room blueprint. Yeah. Okay. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. That's right. You literally are being taken by the hand to walk through the tutorial of this game. People complain about it in other games, but... I don't see the issue. I mean, this is adorable. <laughs> Puzzles seem a little bit too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I'd like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh no. You never say sorry right before something happens, because that just makes everyone assume the worst. And it's not good. It's fine though, everything will be fine. Go mom when it hurt us, right? 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 I'm sure it's fine. This room is really long, much longer than I thought. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillow the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise, to test your independence. I must attend to some business and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here, it's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea, I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? So, that's right. We just got a cell phone. So we're gonna call up Toriel and say, Hello! This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> Let's call her again and say hello. You wanna say hello again? Salutations. Is that enough? This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? I don't know. I kind of want to say hello again. This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. I'm not sure if she has anything more to say, but we're going to try once more. 
I think this is the same thing, yeah. Alright, so she can say those things. What else can she say? What about you? This is Toriel. You want to know about me? Well, I am afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Let's call her Mom. She's best good mom. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me Mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me Mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Huh? Oh! <laughs> How adorable! I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Oh dear, are you serious? And after you said you want to call me mother, <laughs> you're an interesting child. I'm assuming there's nothing else to say now. Yeah, this is everything. So, I'm going to give it a minute because I want to show off something else that I know that happens that I figured out during the original recording. Hello, this is Torio. My errands are taking longer than I thought they would. You must wait five more minutes. Thank you for being patient. Ring. Hello, this is Torio. I found out what I was looking for, but before I could take it, a small white puppy snatched away from me. How odd. Do dogs even like flour? Er, that is an unrelated question, of course. It will take a little longer. Please understand. Click. Ellipses. You hear heavy panting on the other end of the phone. Bark! 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 You hear a distant voice. Stop, please! Come back here with my cell phone! Yeah. It would seem that Toriel... Somewhere signal is deflected by a dog. What? Oreo not only had her flower, but also had her phone stolen. Hello, hello, this is Toriel. My apologies, a strange dog kidnapped my phone. So if you called, I could not have helped you. However, I have recovered it. And you're still in that room, are you not? What a good child you are. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It'd be dangerous for you to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? By the way, I spent like 10 or so minutes doing that. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have any- Yeah, it's the same thing as before. Alright. I want to adjust my audio real quick. Okay, apparently this is as low as it goes right now. Stupid headset. Ah, oh, great. Winston approached meekly. Uh, let's give you some mercy. Yeah, you don't have to fight those things. Rip it, rip it. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you are almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Rip it. All right. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Yeah, we're already 25 minutes in, and trust me, we are not 25 minutes into the game. Um, let's see. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Sure, why not? Okay, I, you can take more of these, but I don't feel right about that. Like, I hated it when my friends would go up to a house in a Halloween and be like, it would be like, take one candy. I'm like, ah, all right, I'll take one. And then they would take like a handful. I'll just stare at them like, you mother <laughs> Like, how could you? They trusted you. They put their faith in you. They pushed as far as it could go, and in the end, there's only one thing you should know. You're a prick. And yes, I am serious. I hate it. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Um... I prefer 
butterscotch, personally. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Torio. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn your nose up against it if you found it on your plate? <laughs> right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Alright. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Whoa. Nice hint. And that's how you get rid of the spikes. It's an amazing puzzle! Um... Awesome. Okay, so this is how you do it. You just have to check where the leaves are, and then don't go where the leaves are. It's... it's easy. Perfectly easy. Mold small blocked the way. I do not care. And I did it! Perfect! Yay! A pair of froggets hopped towards you. Let's compliment you! Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, ribbit. Meow! Why did one of them say meow? You're intimidated by Froggy's raw strength. No, I'm not. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, ribbit. Crow. Croak. Yes, I'm going to be reading everything. Don't worry. I have amazing voices. We got four gold for that. And final rock to push. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Huh? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Uh... Huh? You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? Not quite what I meant. Huh? That was the wrong direction? <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Thank you. Ooh, you're clever. Hmm? You want me to stay there? <laughs> you're giving me a real workout. Whatever you say, Mr. Rock. Oh. <laughs> Cute little mouse. This cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Okay, let's save it again. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. And we're moving on. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yeah, sure. Here comes Nabstablook. This music, though. I love this. Um... I guess we'll cheer it on. You gave Napstablook a patient smile. <laughs> and it starts crying. Oh, no. Yeah. Napstablook looks a little bit better. Let's cheer it on again. You told Napstablook a little joke. <laughs> Really not feeling up to right now, sorry. Cheering seems to have improved Napstablook's mood again. Napstablook wants you to sh wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blook. Dapper Blook is awesome. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. Eagerly awaits your response. Oh yeah. Oh gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you, Mr. Ghost. Spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Okay. I do not have enough money for any of this. Yeah. So we're gonna head up here instead. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down. Spider that. <laughs> spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat your food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Yeah, it's made of spiders. Gross. Ribbit ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say the least. Ribbit. 
Ribbit, Ribbit, I have heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster's name wears a yellow name if you can spare it. What do you think of that? Uh, it's very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. That's important for later, and it took me a very long time to figure out what it was important for. Um, let's show the Mold Small some mercy. Swing your arms, baby! So this little cro cockroach guy will attack you if you have anyone else besides him in the place, like in the fight. But if you get rid of the other person through any means necessary, you can immediately spare him and get some money for it. Two gold per cockroach. Um, ring. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have some company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up and not carry more than you need. Someday you might need see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your a pile of pockets for that. I keep messing up all my words. It's amazing. So, did I just see something on the screen for a moment there? Whatever, I'm going to grind here for a bit. Any enemies I see that are new, I will show off, but I need to earn some money for that bake sale because they're actually good healing items. Swing your arms, baby. Oh, here's a new guy, Luke's. You have to Luke's on at Luke's and do not pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Just move out of the way. Luke's is ga gazing at you. Blah. And once he starts staring through you, you just get five gold for it. Oh, a new attack. I guess I'll show this off. And we're done. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. 18G in the web, yep. So the spiders crawled down and gave you a jug. So let's see what that's all about. So we have this monster candy. Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non-lickerish flavor. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP, a donut made of spider cider in the batter. And spider cider. Spider cider heals 24 HP, made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Kind of gross! Kind of really! really gross when you think about it but we're gonna be saving here and i would normally say on ah, next time but but it's been like 20 something minutes i think since we started and i'm not ready to be done i want to get through this first portion in the first episode and then we'll be going down to like 20 minute episodes so there's just one switch so, these holes, you have to go down one and find the switch. I got it on... No, I didn't. It's the one about this. I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Poor ghosty. Isn't he silly? More of the mold small and the cockroach guys. That opens the door. And... I kind of want to show off some of the enemies here. So we'll talk to this guy. Vegetoid. I can't believe I remember that off the top of my head. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really hungry, Vegetoid. You pat your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! So those green ones will heal you. Vegetoid's here for your health, and then you can spare him. You get four gold for it, so if you want to grind, that's a decent way to do it. Money-wise, that is. Uh, the far door is not an exit, it simply marks rotation and perspective. So remember where these are. There's the red one down here, the green one there, and then the blue switch there. So like I said, there are spikes blocking this one. If you can read this, press the blue switch. So you head over here to where the blue switch is, and you press it. Ah, crap. It's... This is a different pair-up. Like, pair... I don't know what I'm saying. 
Um, we're gonna talk about dinner. You pat your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Legion! We are Legion! Eat your greens. I barely caught that veggie. Okay, and we're done. Mmm, cha-cha-cha. Yep, just like that, you we're done. That shows everything. Migos, for their name. Migos? M Migos, I will say. Eh. Whatever. Okay, there's a blue one there. Green on those sides. A pair of Vegetoids came out of the ground. Um, you pat your stomach, your Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Fresh morning taste. Contains vitamin A. Where's the green one? Oh, right, yeah. I haven't talked to him yet, so he won't do the green yet. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Perfect, got it. And mercy. I got eight gold for that. If you can read this, press the red switch. Sure? It's a switch. Press it. Yeah, it was that easy. But logically, this should mean we're back in the first room, but for some reason we... I've never pressed the wrong switch before. I didn't know that happened. Huh. I... I'd never tried to press the wrong switch. I didn't realize that happened. Huh. Um... Oh, well. If you can read this, press the green switch. Okay, Vegetoid came out of the earth. Um... We're gonna talk about dinner. You pat your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Feel the single-minded! Minder. What? Oh, right, they're Legion, right. That's what he was on about. Being me is the best! So anytime he's alone, he's really happy and, you know, a good person. Anytime he's with anyone else, he's a monster. Get it? So is the green switch? Let's see, the blue switch is there and that's a reference point. Blue, green, red. So that means green is behind this one. It's a switch, press it. Yes, ear clicking sound. And, and done. 10 gold for that. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna head over here. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. Um, is he just gonna say the same thing? Yep. Alright, if you come in here, you can see this awesome city thing. I don't know. But there's also a knife. I will not be taking this knife. I have no reason to have this knife. I'm doing a much pacifist run of this game. And we'll see what I decide to do later, if I decide to go genocidal or anything else. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, <laughs> well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. That's weird. And, all right. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, she's patting my head. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home.
and we went into her room instead because I need to read this. Just a regular old bucket of snails. That was not what it was interacting with, but okay. It is Toriel's diary. Read the circles pa that I circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with similarly with jokes of uh, similar caliber. Let's see if there's any more. Okay. That's about it there. Just a regular old bucket of snails. I have had people tell me that I need to interact with everything multiple times, so I'll do that. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. Alright. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. You can't stop looking at the socks. You can't stop looking at the socks. Anything else? Okay. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown to blonde seed pods, known more commonly as the water sausages. Before this game, I don't think I'd ever heard that term, but I know them as cattails. It's an encyclopedia... yeah, same thing. Whatever. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. So, what you're saying is multiple people could sleep in that. Hmm. Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. Cheriel. Huh. Nice to know that we somehow know her chair's name. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and broken crayons. Huh. Room under renovations. It's you! Oh, it's a water sausage. Um, let's see. Cannot interact with that. Really? I'm from the side? No? Okay. Alright, um, before we head into our room, I want to head out here and talk to Toriel. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap? Not yet. You'd rather stay up and chat with me, then? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I'm not going to put my hand inside, though. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fe fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Um, okay, this is all the same. Give me a moment, I'm gonna drink water. Alright. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Alright. Uh, can I interact with it from this side? Can I interact with the flowers? And yes, I'll be trying to interact with everything I possibly can in the game. I just know I'll miss some things, and I'm sorry. For some reason, there's a brand named Chocolate Bar in the fridge. Alright, there's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Instead of gingerbread men, there's monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use ma uh, fire magic instead. Yeah, rather than using a stove, she just uses magic. That's how awesome Toriel is. Alright. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 201X. Alright. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Oh, aren't you so cindere? I thought it might as well be a cactus. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay. 
A box of kids' shoes and disparity of sizes. That's right. The music changes. And I love the music in this game. Oh, hey. After our nap, look what we found. A slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. <sighs> so, in this warm, loving environment... You have to think about your mother. Honestly, she cared for you, cooked your meals, provided you with a home to live in, and tried to educate you the best she could. That's why I decided to try to make it this far. So guys, next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're going to be figuring out more about this place, this underground, and what we can do about it. I love Toriel. She's such a good character, and she's like a mother to you. So... On that note, see you guys next time.